Hi, and welcome to the webinar. My name is Anna, and today I'm going to be talking about the unleashed B2B store. Um, in this session, I'm going to cover the differences between B2B versus B2C platforms, um, exactly what is the unleashed B2B store, and what the benefits are of using it for your customers. And then we're going to take a quick look at a couple of examples of existing B2B stores and then have a look behind the scenes to so show how the store can be managed through Unleashed and also some of the options that you can use to customise your customer's stores. So firstly, what are the differences between B2B versus B2C? A B2C e-commerce platform targets um, customers purchasing for personal use. So it goes out to meet the customer by appearing in targeted adverts and is also optimized for general search engines. Customers are directed to a web shop and there you can see standard retail products and pricing. An example of this might be um, Amazon or Shopify. So both of these e-commerce stores um, you can connect and leash via our e-commerce hub. And in contrast to this, B2B store is a dedicated website in which companies can give their business, trade or wholesale customers access to view and order products. And the products and pricing can be set up so they're unique per customer or they can be standardized and we have a guest login feature and that's often used. And that's great for businesses that are not yet on account or have open or might want to open selected products directly for public sale. Unleashed speed to be store allows you to manage your orders with different customers and um, distributors and platforms from a single platform. And um, whereas traditionally B2B transactions might have happened over the phone or email, and now with consumers being able to purchase online, businesses inevitably want to do the same. You can give your customers a login or multiple logins for their business, and this will give them access to specific products you wish them to look at at the specific prices you set them for in Unleashed. It's really an extension of your Unleashed account. So the setup that you've done already in Unleashed will set you in good, good stead for um, the B2B store. So your products and customers will all have been set up, and then you just need to decide what you want it to look like. It means you can take back control. Um, so if your customers, that means they can order whenever suits them. It means their orders will be quicker. And the B2B store allows them to select favorites, look at their order history, and also replicate previous orders, um, which will help them and make their purchasing easier. And the store gives them a few a full view of their products and pricing, as well as um, visibility of availability to delivery delivery availability, um, which will also hopefully allow them to anticipate partial deliveries or things that might not be coming into stock. Um, and for you, um, it means it gives you a greater control over seeing the customers, seeing what products are specific for them, and also allows specific special diff discounts for limited periods and um, based on certain order quantities. And hopefully this will nurture your customer relationship as well as, well as encouraging uh, bigger purchases. Um, it also means you're going to be saving time and effort. So the store is really easy to use for the customer. There's no email chain back and forth communications and they can do it whenever they want. Um, hopefully um, it will allow repeat purchases, so standing orders um, to be processed quickly um, and without you you your administration and uh, finally the b2b store is really easy to set up and it's really straightforward for your um, customers to log in and the design is nice and simple um, email updates for your customers and in, in store updates will show them the progress of their orders and um, so they don't have to um, come to you to ask um, for those things and it means that you don't have to remember to send them that information um, it's also easy to set up. So as I said before, half of it will already be done for you and you can really control what the customer sees. The configuration is easily accessed from Unleashed and by going into the Unleashed B2B store. Um, so now I'm going to show you a couple of examples of existing um, B2B portals. Now I'm going to switch over to show you an example of how a current B2B store user, this, in this case Gypsy Hill, have personalised their B2B store. Links can be easily added to allow their customers to click on a direct link, 
to that product's purchasing page in the store. And you'll also notice they've created categories for their range as well to be able to choose featured products on the main page. Um, this store will also gives you a bit of an idea about how you can control guest access. And um, so you can see here, if I look at the products, I can see the pricing and I can also see the availability, um, but there's no option to purchase. If I click into the product further, you'll see all I can see is, again, the pricing and availability, as well as some additional information. Um, if I were to contact this business and ask for a login, I'd be able to do so by then by going into the B2B login button. Um, you can set up guest access in a way that works best for your business. Um, there's an option to allow guests to purchase without a login, in this case, um, or restrict access completely to those who don't have a login. Um, I'm now going to send you to the example of a B2B store um, that have um, ordered and are able to order. So this is an example of a B2B store where the customer is able to place orders. And so again, you can see there's a banner across the top and the different ranges as well as featured products. Here you can see that there's an availability shortage here and there's a tag on there. If I was to tick, you can see that I can actually add those onto there. So you can monitor whether you can add products onto an order that are out of stock or whether you could limit it so you wouldn't be able to do that. Here you can also see that there's a quantity discount here. So if I ordered 100 of those, I get a certain price. If I click the quantity button and click add, I see, you can see here that items will go into my basket. So this is a really similar experience to if you were ordering for personal use. And um, so it won't be a million miles away from what they are used to using anyway. You can see here you have your basket and you can continue shopping. Or if you wanted to go and have a look at your previous order history, you can go to my orders, order history, have a look at the statuses of your orders and also the detail. And you can also manage your standing orders. So here you can pause or edit your current standing orders. And then if I were to want to create a new order, I can proceed to order through here. I can add in any shipping details I want to, as well as any PO reference or comments and required dates. The delivery details can be personalized in, um, in each of your stores. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you can see you have the option to make a standing order or you can place the order there. Now in Unleashed um, in the Unleashed B2B store, you can have the option to um, pay after the order. So that would require you to either have the customer on account and invoice after delivery, or it might be that you want to contact the customer when the order comes in and um, to take payment for that particular order. Alternatively, you can take a uh, we have a connection with Stripe and you can take a credit card payment for an order. So I'll, I'll, I'll pretend that this customer is on an account. So if I place an order now, you can see you have the confirmation page here and it directs you to the order history should you wish to edit the order. Now I'm going to take you into an example of how you can see the order in your Unleashed account and how you can edit some of the options that are available in the store. So all you need to do to access the B2B portal is go to B2B portal, go to store, and it will take you to the settings page. So here you can um, decide the design and the look of your store and um, you can create custom home pages which is where you have the banners with any links as well as popular categories and featured products here you can decide your customer access you can click into customers and manage the contacts 
you can lock and deactivate customers, as well as um, resend emails. You can edit the invitation email here if you want to customize it. And you can also manage your contacts here. You can act as customer, so you can have a look about what the store would look like. And then navigate back to settings. If I go to orders, you can see I can set up my payment settings. So I can allow payments for registered customers or for guests or neither. I can also go to email settings. So here I can edit what order status comes into Unleashed and what order status is in the store, as well as any emails that might go out. I can also see the total order history from my particular custom site. If I go to inventory, I can then manage my products. I can have custom descriptions, which are different in here to what they might be in your Unleashed account. And I can focus on whether things are sellable or hidden and action them in the action cop on the right hand side. To manage what your customers can see, you can create categories, which can have subcategories and also catalogs. So this is groups of products that you might want to be visible for certain customers. You can edit them here, add them in, and then in your customers, you can specify what catalogs are assigned to which. Thank you for watching this webinar. If you haven't already, take a look at our 25 minute overview of Unleashed on our webinars on demand page.